It's a rivalry. I mean, we don't, we don't really like them. They don't like us. You know, both teams play extremely physical football and, and do everything they can to, to play the best that they, that they can. It's something that's hated so bad, you know, and you know, you can come in the stadium wearing red, not even when we're playing Miami, and it's a problem. What else can be said? It's the Battle of the Bricks, Miami Week. Or as junior defensive lineman Antoine Crutcher puts it, that team from Oxford. Ohio had rallied off six straight wins against the Red Hawks, but could not make it seven when the Red Hawks upended Ohio's perfect season last year. With that said, are the Cats considering this game a chance for revenge? Nah, I wouldn't call it revenge. I just call it another game in the season. Just a little bit more personal. Oh, it's huge. I mean, no, nobody here has for, forgotten that, what happened, how we felt last year. And I mean, I think that's going to be a driving force behind this week's game. We're, we're hungry. We're, like I said, we're upset about what happened last week, last year. So we're just ready to attack. We're ready to get to the ball. And we're ready to put some helmets on. I think it's always a dog fight. And um, you never know what to expect. It'll be the 90th time the boys in green collide with the boys in red. For some, this rivalry is ingrained in their blood. For others, this is the first time they'll get to experience the hatred firsthand. It's one of the first things you learn coming in, hating, uh, hating Miami and a few other rivals, but Miami is first and foremost. Obviously, when I first got here, I did not know immediately about the Ohio-Miami rivalry, but soon found out. When they go against those Miami guys, they'll see, you know, and, and that hatred will be like so familiar for their first time. And it'll be like, man, I see why they hate you. This, this is one of them games where you don't want to get embarrassed. This is one of them games where everybody's watching, you know, everybody's tuning in to see this is a big rivals. Looking at last year's loss and understanding the implications of Mac play, especially against such a huge rival, Ohio can't overlook the winless Red Hawks. Now we just focus on just making sure we handle them this year because they have a lot of things going on with their school and their program. And right now, with our rival we have in the battle for the bricks, it would mean the world to them if they upset us. Records go out the window. They, they really don't mean much. Um, it's a matter of lining up and, and playing the game. And, and when it's a rivalry game, you know, all, all, all bets are off. When it all comes down to it, on Saturday at 2 p.m., a war will begin. When the dust settles, the winner of the Battle of the Bricks will be crowned. Flock the ball. Every, every red jersey with a ball has 10 green jerseys or 11. Most likely 11 green jerseys on them at the end of the play. That's what, that's what the plan is. The model right now is just watch film and grind and get the boys ready for a game. But we got a lot to prove to Miami this year, and we just want to come out and make sure that they feel where Ohio is coming from. Uh, we're ecstatic. We, we can't wait. We was waiting for this for a whole another year. We just ready to get to them boys and we're ready to bring energy and light up Peden Stadium. It's going to be a, a packed house and we can't let that, uh, that affect us and uh, just play our type of game, our type of physical, smart football, no, no middle mistakes and go out there and, and, and play our game. I think Miami games will be always something to be talked about. You know, no matter how long ago they were, and, you know, no matter what the score was, it'll be something that a lot of the coaching staff and the players will remember. You know, they might not remember a lot of other games, but the Miami games will be will be memorable for them.